days of Nolan and I just packing one backpack per person on our trips is long past. And this backpack, whoo, guess how much it weighs? Guess how much it weighs? 25 pounds. That is the burden that I carry. Because I have responsibilities as a mom, I have to take all my mom stuff along. I don't want to give up my passion of photography and videography, so lots of camera gear in this backpack. Ever since my husband and I got married, we had this goal that every year we would attempt to take a trip together just to get away from the work, the responsibility, reconnect, make memories. We both love quality time and experiencing new places. And we had a goal for our 10th anniversary. We wanted to do something big. I'm both excited and a little bit apprehensive. Not only are we traveling ourselves, but we have thing one and thing two. That is where my anxiety comes in. I'm traveling with a four month old. Let's see how it goes. I have to get a picture of this trunk. My husband and I absolutely love to get away by ourselves. But we did that two other times where we left our son behind. Since then, he's been having quite the anxiety attack staying with other people. And we realize it's just not a good thing for him, especially at this age. So we are bringing two of my nieces to help with babysitting. These are my nieces that came along. This is Misty and Brittany. <laughs> we gave them the option. We're like, we'll help pay your accommodations and transportation over there. We're renting a vehicle, but the rest is up to them. And they thought it was a good plan. So while we're over there, Nolan and I hope to get some moments by ourselves when the children are napping or whatever. It's going to be an interesting trip. And where could we be going? Let's find out. I don't think she's going to be a country girl. I think she likes the city. She likes the city. Where's Xander? Yay. Hello. I'm so good because I am sure hungry. What do you think of traveling with two kids? More stressful than any trip has been so far. <laughs> Update number one, traveling with two children. The whole drive here, she did amazing. We got here, she started getting to the end of her rope. She cried for a little while. I fed her, she got a power nap in. I'm on the hunt for coffee. We have a red eye flight, fly all night. And guess what? We are super excited. We are flying Emirates the first time. One of the huge ones. Nolan said there's a really good coffee shop up here somewhere. Coffee shop up here. I need coffee. You'll also check out this cool Lego man. Hello, could I have two lattes please, as well? Never buy at airport. $27 for two lattes and this. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Looking out, the morning air is waiting for us now. Is that our big jet? Call into the space between the clouds. Look at all this room. There's something beautiful in the quiet we have found. It's a lot of stress, but it's worth it. Something beautiful. So far, so good. We will go as far as our feet can take. It's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Someone will not sleep. Who's that somebody? <laughs> Me and Lexi. <laughs> You're getting tired, aren't you? <laughs> we haven't even taken off yet. We're still waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. With my little peoples. These are my peoples. Mm, what are we doing? Counting all the lights. Trying to keep him entertained. 21. 22. As far as our feet can take us Heaven knows The world that we will find We'll paint the open sky Illuminate the night You and I You and I Right where we belong We are almost at our destination Checking in with Lexi. Lexi did amazing. Hardly even cried at all. Slept in her little bassinet when she could. Xander slept most of the time. Eight hour flight. I'm feeling a little jet lagged. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Milan, Malpensa Airport. Where the local time is 12.50 in the afternoon and the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. After a long eight hour flight, we touched down in Milan, Italy on the following day. 
However, this still wasn't our final destination, so after getting into our rental van, we had a quick hop and a skip over to the country of our ancestors. We are in Switzerland! Woohoo! Switzerland was one of my favorite countries that I had ever been to, and Nolan always wanted to visit it. And because Switzerland was one of the countries that lifted all COVID restrictions on foreign travelers, we picked this beautiful country to celebrate 10 years of married life. Our first of two locations was an Airbnb in Sempac, a small town located about 10 minutes outside of Lucerne. Lodging in Lucerne was rather pricey, so we opted for this location, and we were blown away with the incredible views from our apartment, as well as the charming factor of Sempac, which seemed to be less heard of next to its grander sister, Lucerne. Any a little over 24 hours later of traveling time, we are here in Switzerland. I can't believe how well the children did. Lexi was just a champ the entire time. Give them both A plus on their traveling. We have the most incredible view of Sempac Lake. So beautiful, love this apartment. One of the things I'm really excited about on this trip is I found out about a small town where my mom's side of the family comes from. So we might go exploring and see if we can find this little town where I can trace my ancestry back to. That is going to be exciting. It is a beautiful morning. Nolan just woke up, but pretty much everyone else is still sleeping. And Lexi slept the entire night and we're six hours difference, so it's incredible. I am going to go to the grocery store quickly. It's only three minutes away. Grab a bunch of groceries that I can make breakfast when everyone wakes up because there's like no food here except some snacks we brought. What's that? Do you smell the air? Morning. Everyone's sleeping. Nolan had just gotten up. I had asked him if he wants me to go and he preferred I went instead of him because he knows I like to get certain groceries. So anyway, and he also knew I kind of wanted to go. <laughs> anyway, off to the grocery store we go. minute hop straight down the road I'm here at co-op so now it's time to see how far money reaches at a Swiss grocery store interesting side note the region we're staying in is Swiss German I didn't think our Pennsylvania Dutch would get much anywhere over here so last night we were talking to the neighbors and they could hardly speak any English obviously I don't know German very much but I decided to just try and I started talking in Pennsylvania Dutch and we could kind of understand each other and we were getting the point back be between their broken English and my broken whatever dialect we speak. It was pretty exciting. So anyway, yay for PA Dutch. Bummer. First problem is I have no Swiss francs. I'm not sure how I'm going to get a shopping cart. Two minutes down here, supposedly an ATM. I stopped at this gas station. I got some bills. <clears throat> now I just need to change some of this into coins and then I can get a grocery cart. What, 15 minutes later? Also, they have Aldi here. But I think I'm going to go to the coop because we have Aldi at home. So. Good morning. Can you see English? Yes. Uh, can I change for um, the carts? Or no? Don't you do that. <laughs> All that for that. I always feel so rude coming to other people's countries and not speaking their language. It feels kind of entitled that they should know English.
Prices were not quite as bad as I was expecting. It was a lot more comparable than I thought it would be. We got a fair amount of food for breakfast, snacks, lunches, then hopefully we'll just eat out evenings and maybe even sometimes make supper in the evenings because eating out with a family costs so much money even just eating out yourself. So, all right, that was quite the morning adventure. We had been planning that our first day we would not do much and let everyone catch up on sleep. However, there was one major threat looming in the near future. Rain and cold temperatures in the 40s. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday were all calling for rain. I was trying hard not to let the gloomy forecast creep into my attitude, but it was a cloud hanging over us as we had come to Switzerland to experience the outdoors and take in the magnificent scenery. Since this day was absolutely gorgeous, we pushed rest on the back burner, changed up our itinerary, and hoped the children would survive as we headed off to Mount Pilatus for some incredible views. And upon arrival in the parking lot, we were greeted by the music of Switzerland. Cowbells! <laughs> we were just ready to go up to Mount Pilatus, and she had a big blowout. Yes, you did! <laughs> yes, you did! Did you have a big blowout? Not know what that means. Lexi! I see a bunch more cattle! You look! See more cattle? Yeah, look! That way! Look at that. The castle. Yes, the Castle of Liberty. <laughs> we are headed up to Mount Pilatus right outside of Lucerne. We're a little pushed for time. We're trying to get the boat back, so we'll see if it works or not. Cue the excited and random observations of a five-year-old. Look behind you, Dad, look way up. There's the airport way up there. Mm. Look, a trail. Yep. I see some cows down there. Just happily eating. I'm relaxing in that cable car. Look at the houses! They're as small as a tiny car! I'm scared. Just hanging in your harness. Are you having a good time? We had bought the Golden Pass, which would take us up the mountain in a gondola, down the other side in a cogwheel train, and then hop on a boat to go back to Lucerne. We had gotten a bit of a late start, so when we got to the first stop, partway up the mountain, look at these views. We didn't have time to do any of the fun things, one of which was the Alpine coasters, which was on our bucket list of things to do. Because we had to make it to the top in time to catch the cable car down to our boat so we wouldn't miss the last boat out. <laughs> you can fill up your water here. Where? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, he's okay. Is that pretty cool? <laughs> Is this your dad? We have to get on the next thing, bud. So you were saying there's another one up top? Yep. There, dad. When I was there, there's a car! So there's a hiking trail up there. That's how you get there. See that one guy's working his way up the trail? <laughs> Here, look at me. Now, don't look down. Just look at, look up here. Look at mom. Look at this view. And then it just drops. The views from Mount Pilatus were incredible and we greatly enjoyed walking around, taking it all in. There's some caves up here. That you can look out over everything. That is the sheer drop off. Good, cool, good, 
pictures literally do not do anything justice as far as like the vast, vast, just open humongousness. I don't even have words. So funny, so Xander was with the other girls for a while. He came back to be with us and he's shouting and hollering around and immediately she starts joining in. <laughs> it's like, and she was quiet as a mouse before. Now she's just happy and shouting and I think it's all because Xander's here. Yeah. She's just happy as a lark. Are you talking with Xander? You're starting to blow bubbles. We noticed the line for the cogwheel train was excessively long, only to find out there were technical difficulties and we wouldn't be able to complete the rest of the Golden Pass tour. Now we would need to return down the way we had come. However, this turned out to be a blessing as it freed up our time and one of our favorite memories of this trip would happen on the return back. I didn't think you were scared of heights. It is kind of freaky, it's but... Weird. I guess it was more... There was no guard. I was like, it was like eight, uh, 30 heavy people in this thing. <laughs> Look, Xander, see way down there? That's that, that slide we're going to go on. Oh, yeah. Slide, slide, slide. Yeah, careful with the doors. There's no one going up. Sometimes change of plans is for the better, because now we got to check a big thing off of our bucket list. Xander, who, who do you want to go with? Mom! Mom? All right. You think mom will go faster? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sander, did you like that ride? Yeah, I'll do in turn. Show me how it works. This uh -huh. is go fast. This is when you slow down. Okay. Do you love these rides? Yeah. It's so fun. We should go all the time till we go home to our own little. Maybe we just go all day long. That takes a lot of pennies. It costs you five dollars every time to come down. No, no, I don't mean every time today. Okay. I mean like. Every day, like every day when we wake oh, yeah. up from nap, that we go. Here's the cows. They're sleeping. I like how loud the bells are. If, if I pull this. And this is uh, the track going up. Hard to see. Pulls us up backwards. Oh, that is just so much fun. We're just running short on time today. Look, he's sleeping with Nolan, then he'll probably go down again. Maybe he'll go with Xander. Going up backwards. I see the airport. We should probably yeah. get going. Okay, Lexi, did you sleep good? Did you? Yeah, with Dad. Yeah. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. Recently I've realized I like doing it all with you Strange
you bud well, you're a good big brother we were so thankful we decided to push through our tiredness and take advantage of the sunshine as we greatly enjoyed the day we grabbed some fast food on the way home and then put the children to bed early nolan and i strolled around sempac and enjoyed the bliss of having conversations with no disruptions of little voices right out of the fountain taste any better <laughs> than any other water. <laughs> we all kept obsessively checking the weather, praying it would change, and trying to pack more activities into the days of sunshine. So check back again next week if you want to experience some spectacular views along with us, watch Xander overcome a fear, and see how all this travel stress and sleepless nights were affecting my health. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night for some reason, about an hour, so my stomach feels off. <laughs> She literally feeds.